Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Green Leaf Season 3. This is episode 11. It's only two episodes left. Good Lord, let's let us pray. Okay, this is such my heart can't take it. It's just so, so, so good. It's so amazing. Okay. If you have not done so already, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and become a whole J bird. Hello, hello, hello to all my J birds. Hey, y'all. Um, if you also do not forget to always like, comment, and share this video. And so always hit that notification bell because it lets you know when I have new videos up. Um, I think I will be live this Friday. I think I am. I haven't. I don't. Nothing's been happening lately. So I'm like, if y'all want me to be live, I'll be live. But you know, it's, it, don't, it always depends on y'all. Um, but let's get started on this particular video. So, you know, we see May and Maxine having a whole chit-chat. Having a whole little girl talk or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? She brings up how, she's like, you know, Maxine, have a seat. So she says she's talking to Maxine. You know what I'm saying? I was going to leave James years and years ago. And you know what I'm saying? It was around the time I found out he was sleeping with Mavis. And I just want to get my groove back. Okay, I was going to really get my groove back and leave him alone. However, we had a trip to go on, a couple's trip with Lionel and his wife. I'm like, so you was sleeping with Lionel on the whole couple trip when his wife was there and your husband was there? Now, that's scandalous. That is some scandalous. Ooh, that is some Stella get a group back stuff. So, she brings up how, you know, but that happened back then. Now, Lionel dying, you know what I'm saying? He wants to go ahead and just, um, he wants to tell the woman who he think his daughter the truth. Mavis, not Mavis. <laughs> Maxine, like, Grace? Is Grace his daughter? And she's like, you know what I'm saying? The time he matches up, you know what I'm saying, for whatever happened. And you know what I'm saying? And I feel like if he tell her that, you know, she's going to think, okay, this is the whole reason why we haven't gotten along. Her mother the whore has always been ashamed of her. And that's the reason for our, you know, just the clash, you know, whatnot. And she's like, you know, she wouldn't be completely wrong about that or whatever. You know, she's like, look, May. You have to come clean, okay? You cannot be a woman of God, you know what I'm saying, and have this whole secret. You know what I'm saying? Secrets have no place in the company of the king. I said, well, come on, Maxine. Come on, Patty. Speak it, girl. Speak it, girl. So we then see Grace. Grace is giving Bishop all the proof he needs that points to Rochelle you know, being a whole little scoundrel, okay? He like, I don't believe it. It can't be true. Daddy, the girl, the lady gave me a picture. That's for sure as a kid. She is Daryl's uh, daughter. She is Basie's sister. She's playing you, Daddy. She is playing you. I don't get it, Grace. That doesn't make any sense. I just, I'm like, why don't you get it? You kept asking yourself, what do you want with me? This makes common sense, Bishop. But Bishop can't understand it, okay? Why would she do this? I'm saying she helped us. She helped you with your uh your fund for the whatever. She helped me pay my taxes. You know, she had this whole she was helping me invest money. This can't be true. It has to be something else. Why would she do any of that? And as he says that, boom, kicking the door, waving the four four. Who comes in? The F B and the I. I'm like, it's a raid. It's a raid, Jesus, in Jesus' house? What's going on? And sure enough, the FBI is raiding not only Calvary, but Triumph. Yep, over there with Jacob and Carissa, you know what I'm saying? They raiding over there, too. And they like, what? What's going on? What are you talking about, raid? No, hold on. They're like, ma'am, we have a warrant, okay? Y'all are being investigated for, like, a wire fraud, bank fraud, 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 church fraud, all kind of frauds, okay, all kind of frauds. And then they like, uh, and you, you know, do you have an accountant? And they're like, of course we do. But y'all just got one two days ago. Y'all ain't had one for three months. I would, I would have said we haven't had an account for three months. The last girl quit, and you know what I'm saying we ain't had the church for a couple months. So I don't know what's going on. I wouldn't have said yeah, as if you know what everything is going on. So then that new accountant dude. 
with a little accent. It was like, oh my God, I'm so happy you are here. There are so many things going on. I don't know what's going on. He like, you know, it's just some things that are not right. And I'm like, oh, he already snitching. Lord Jesus. I'm saying he just snitching, snitching, snitching. Now, Lady May is on air with Maxine, you know, speaking up her little convocation thing for a day with Lady May. Because she changes everything. And she's like, you know, yeah, it's going to be great, great, great. They're like, yeah, is your daughter going to speak? And she's like, well, Charity, she'll be there. She's going to sing. I'm like, you know you got more than one daughter that's alive, girl. Come on now, May. Speed it up. And then Patty, like, <laughs> Patty Maxine, like, um, she means, like, it's Grace. Oh, no, Grace won't be there. Well, she might be there, okay? She might be there. We know it's going to be busy, but we're going to try to, she's like, you know what? Don't work. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now, at this time, Corinne is behind the camera. It's like, you know, he's going to need you to come over here and make us a whole little nice little speech. Like, you know what? She gives a speech and then says, yeah, I have to step away. She stepped away like, what's going on? And then she walks off with the F, the B, and the I. And she's like, what? what is going on? It's like, I don't know. They came here. They took in everything, all the church stuff. And then here comes here come Charity. Mama, they want my computer. I can't believe they want my computer. I didn't do this. My music ain't backed up. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, Mama. Charity. Charity, for once in your life, could you not be the center of attention? I said, well, okay, now, can't you be useful in a stressful situation? Oh, my God. And then she walks off. You know what I'm saying? May like, Grace, is this your fault? Is this because you and that little murdering lady or whatever? And he like, she like, Mama, this ain't me. This is you and Daddy. I ain't got ain't nothing to do with me. She see Bishop over there on the phone. And then as she, before she gets to Bishop, like, you know, FBI man, this has nothing to do with me. If this is about James and the Bishop, I am his ex-wife, okay? This ain't got nothing to do with me. He was like, oh, you're the um, first lady. You're, you know, May Greenleaf or whatever. Your name's on the warrant, too. So it does have something to do with you. Oh, my God. I'm like, May, that was y'all texting. Y'all have been divorced for two days. Why you acting as if y'all have been divorced six months? Girl, bye. So, you know, she go up to Bishop. I can't believe you. Get off the phone. I'm like, are you hitting that man in front of the FBI? I think that they may be able to arrest you, May. Stop playing. I can't believe you. This is all your fault. Me, I'm calling on May. I'm fixing it. You ain't fixing nothing. I'm like... And Grace's like, oh my God, they're having a full-fledged argument in front of the F, the B, and the I. And F, the B, and the I is just, you know, ignoring them anyway. But I'm like, still, y'all up here spilling all the church's business is coming down to argue in private, okay? You don't know that. So Grace's like, oh, Lord, let me call my friend. So she calls the same lawyer friend who was going to help her defend that white lady who killed that man. So he comes and he talks to Grace. It was Grace Bishop. Uh, Carissa and Jacob. He explains what happened. He like, okay, this is what they think. <clears throat> the F, the B, and the I thinks Jacob, you know, opened this account and he transferred money from the church's money to this separate personal account. And he like, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. He got Bishop Jacob. Let him talk. Okay, and now they think that Bishop, you went to said account and took the money out and used that money to pay the I, the R, and the S. I didn't do that. Rush up, Daddy. Let him talk. I said, okay, come on now, Jacob. Get him back for that. So he's explaining how, you know, so they think this is what happened. Um, you know, is this your account? He gives, he shows the confirmation to Bishop. Did you take money out that account? He said, yes. But that's my account. He's like, no, that's the account that Jacob opened. He was like, I didn't open any account. I don't know what you're talking about. So Bishop goes, say, well, you know, Rochelle, my, my money manager, she invested this money for me. And, you know, she did A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. She put this app on my phone. And that account was a church cryptocurrency account. And they're like, Daddy, you dumb. Oh, I'm like, yes, he's an old man. He don't know new stuff. He's an old man. They don't know. My, look, people need, my aunt just start when my aunt started using Facebook, they would be, they don't know what they be doing, really. Yeah, of course he was swindled, okay? He's an old man on a cell phone with a smartphone. He don't know nothing. And they're like, but you were dumb to think that's a real thing. Whatever, Jacob, let me show you. And he pulls it up. The app don't work. Well, no, Rochelle put the app on my phone, and the app had all the money in it. And I took that money that my that my investment made, and I paid the operas with that. The Lord was like, no, 
the account you went in is the account Jacob opened and has you taken that money out and that money trail went to the to the IRS. So it's as if y'all are embezzling money. That's what it was. And they're like, no, 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 no. Now they both are arguing. Well, you dumb. Well, you dumb. Well, no, you dumb. You do. Y'all both some idiots. Y'all both got caught up in a rapture of love all day and through. All day and through. So <laughs> Chris like, oh, just stop it. You both got played. Y'all both got played by Tasha and by Rochelle. Oh, it's just kind of crazy. But Lori said, you know what? At this point in time, we just have to wait it out. Because there's always a digital trail. So, you know, we just have to wait. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And then here come Derek. Derek come in. I'm looking like, where the hell he been on episode? Even though it's at the beginning. And then he come like, Grace, can I talk to you real quick? He trying to get a story for the paper. I thought you said that we would never, that you would never do a story on my church. I, this ain't on the church. This, and I'm not doing it. But my editor going to do the story. And I'm just coming here to see if you're going to confirm some facts or whatever. Because stuff going to come out. Anyway, I just want to get your story first. One, she's upset. I would be upset, too. Like, my thing is, it's it's the way he approached it that made me mad. I'm like, why not say something like him saying, we need to get ahead of this. Like, let us know what you want out there and let us tell that story. Don't just say, well, people going to report on it anyway. The facts going to get out, so don't you want us to tell us right now? I'm like, that ain't the right way to say it, bro. That ain't the right way to say it. And then she's like, you know what? The facts are that Rochelle and Tasha played my father and my brother. And I'm going to figure it out, okay? And she gets up and she leaves. I'm going to prove it. I'm like, mm -hmm. see, that's why, I that's why I can't remember Rick Fox's real name on the show. Because he be on she be in one scene. He be in one scene, like, every two episodes. I don't know that man's name. I don't, I hope it's really Derek. Because it might, Derek could be the dude from Star from earlier. Because I watched Star 2. We see Charity, okay? And Charity, I guess, is offended because she was told she ain't never helpful. So she talks to the FBI guy. I need to get my mom's computer. You know, I'm a church kid. And, you know, us preacher kids, we be into things or whatever. And, you know, a while ago, I wanted to be an actress. Some guy took a picture of me or whatever. And the pictures was just not good. And, you know, the pictures are on my mom's computer. And I don't want anyone seeing them. So I just want to know if I can get her computer for like five minutes and just get these pictures. I'm like, first of all, you're a bad liar. That's the dumbest story I've ever heard. Second of all, I'm like, he going to believe it anyway. He then said, you know what, I'll go talk to my manager and I'll see what I can do. But he still looked like, I don't know, I'm going to be gone. So he was gone the whole episode. He didn't come back to the end. And brought her the computer. And then said, you know, it turns out as long as the information you want to get off a computer it's not ha doesn't have anything to do with the case, you know, I can let you get the computer. He said, but um, I know there are no photos. She's like, you knew? He's like, yeah. He's like, you know, but I have to see whatever it is you want to get off of it. She went on there because May had her whole presentation for a day with Lady May. She changes everything and so charity wants to be helpful and useful to get her mom her speech and her, her pictures and so she take it to me and say see i am useful mama and then walks away i'm not gonna back so we see jacob on the phone and he's called tasha because tasha is the only person who knows what's going on they still confused they don't know nothing so they like what the hell going on so you know see like i know you did it I know you did it. I know you moved the money. You had me sign a form. I know you didn't want to do it. You, I know you probably didn't do it by yourself. You probably had Basie's help or Rochelle's help. But, you know, talk to me. Come here. Let us help you. I won't press no charges if you can just tell me what happened. And the whole time she's sitting there looking like, oh, I don't know what to do. And we see Basie sitting right next to her. And he's like, you better not say nothing. And then... She's like, Jacob, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, Basie's gone or whatever. And then on Jacob's end, Carissa's sitting right there. And she's like, tell her you love her. Tell her you in love. Like, tell her I love you. And he's like, what? No. And she's like, tell her you love her. I'm looking like, Carissa is so damn stupid. Tasha. Tasha. I love you. Basie got mad, baby. Basie snatched that phone so quick and hung it up. And he was like. And got Rochelle, I told you. And then she gets up and walk away. Basically, I don't know what he talk. I don't know what. He yes, she do, and I do too. And he gets up and then he walks away. I'm like, basically, gonna beat her. 
beat her bad. Um, we see quick things with Zora. You know, Zora was still with that damn boy, okay? With that damn boy. And, you know, they were supposed to be going to the studio. And he like, you know, whenever you there, you leave, you seem bored or whatever. So, how about this time you just stay home? And she's like, I don't be bored. I want to go to the studio. Because guess what? She don't do shit else. He like, well, no, nah, it's going to be kind of packed or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You should just stay here. She's like, no, nah, I want to be with you. Baby, you know what? He opens the wallet, gives her a hundred bucks. Go get your nails done. You know what I'm saying? This can then come back here and chill out. But first, give me that wine out the cooler. And I'm like, bitch, did, is your feet not working? You can't walk over there? Y'all the door the same way? And I'm like, bruh. She going, she getting to give it to him or whatever. And he leaves. I say, first of all, that boy going to have some girl at the studio. I said, I can tell that because he was all, you know, giggling and shit in his phone before he left. Sure enough, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, he's so stupid. We see Sophia. Sophia at home. And she on her, like, look. I don't know if it was Snapchat or Twitter. It was on some down. It may have been Snapchat. I don't know. But she see a, a feed of this girl who's at the studio with that boy. And she on his lap. Oh, bang. They so silly. Uh, you poor bit All on this little. I'm like, this little, what is going on? So Zora, no, Sophia sends the, the clips to Zora. Zora gets it as that boy coming in the house. What is this? What is this? What were you doing? Is this why I couldn't go to the studio? He's like, man, look, I had a whole event. It was some fans there. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was too small. The studio began real hot. So I left you here. <sighs> Are we even together? Because who is she? What? What is even up with us? Of course we're together. You my number one. You know what I'm saying? She just, you know, she ain't nothing. I love you. I love you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Okay, baby, do you love me? And they kissing. Zora's so stupid. Oh, she's so stupid. Oh, my God. She irks my nerve. Because she was kissing and hugging and laughing. He ain't shit, girl. He ain't shit. Excuse me for my cousin. Grace goes to Rochelle's office. I know what you did. She's like, hey, Grace, what you doing here? What are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb with me. I know you are Basie's sister. Are you not his half-sister? Yes. Is that a crime? You came here, seduced my daddy. You ain't sick. I know you did all of this. The IRS here, the FBI here. She's like, Grace, I don't know what you're talking about. Your father has not mentioned anything to me. Look. Me and your father was together last night, and we was in the bed together. We confessed our love for each other. And if I become your stepmom, you know what I'm saying? I can't be your mother, but I can be like a sister. But you have to let go of this crazy obsession that I'm doing things great. I'm like, bitch. Let's all your luck it. Girl, you know what? She going to get a lot of roles based on this. Because she playing the shit. I, mean, I want to punch her out throat. And she a whole pregnant woman right now. I'm like, oh, she got on my damn nerves. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You set my father up a fake account. I don't know what you, I didn't invest in. What are you talking about? Look, you tripping and I, I'm, girl, bye. And she kind of going her office like it wasn't nothing. I'm like, she really act, girl, she's a great actress. She's a great actress. You know, Connie telling Bishop, you know what I'm saying, after all this is going on, you know what I'm saying, we going to have a whole meeting, me and the Bishop board, Deacon board, <laughs> me and the Deacon board, and, you know, you can't be Bishop with all the things going on. He like, you know what I'm saying, with May leaving, the church needs some stability or whatever. I ain't going nowhere, and if you think I am, you tripping. And she's like, well, you know, technically, your vote don't count. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It, your, your, I, what did she say? Your, um, I think your opinion doesn't really matter. I'm like, she be acting like she the whole boss. I mean, the whole, whole boss. And I was like, I don't know. Girl, bye. And he like, you can leave now. You can be gone. Like I told you, Bishop, your opinion doesn't matter. And then she leaves. I said, we're going to be Bishop. What's going on here? So back at the house. At Tasha's house. Tasha trying to be a good old wife. Made him some food. Got him a little beer. I can put it in the glass if you want to. And I'm like, I don't think girl don't get nothing. Mm -mm. I'm like, hopefully he don't get that damn bottle. So, he keep looking at her like in this disgust. And she was like, Basie, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do nothing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I was out here damn near getting killed every day. Praying for God to let me see you in my dreams because I miss you so much. And lo and behold, you hear this canoodling with Jacob Greenleaf. 
I told you nothing happened. And if it did, you wasn't here no way. You let me think you was dead. I did that for you. Because if anybody came and asked you, you would know. I didn't think that you would move on so fast. But you faster than I thought. Mm-hmm. Faster than I thought. And I don't trust you anymore. What? Paisley. And then she goes to touch him. Ugh, no. I don't trust you no more. I don't know if I can ever trust you again. I'm looking like... He then take a call from Rochelle. Rochelle calls and say, you know, Grace knows everything. She know A, B, C, D, all of our plans or whatever. He's like, calm down. It don't really matter. You know what I'm saying it don't matter what you know. As long as you and Tosh did exactly what I said, you know, it's going to be too late for them or whatever. Don't worry, don't worry about it. We're going to take down the whole family. The whole family going down. Now, Tasha hear him talking, and she then calls Jacob. Now, see Jacob at the church looking like, well, dang. I did sign this form. I did have, I did, you know, sign an open account, but I have no idea when it's happened. I just don't know. So I just have no idea. So when Tasha called him, like, you know what I'm saying, Jacob, I need to meet. I'm scared. He's like, okay, don't be scared. Just tell me where. I'm going to text you the location. And then she hangs up. And the whole time she watching Bates, like, walk around on his phone, and she on hers. And then Krista looking at Jacob like, you care for her. He's like, what? No, you really, you actually care for her. And he's like, I care for this family. I care for getting, you know, getting for this church. I care for you and seeing my, my, my daddy or whatever. That's it. I'm not going to discuss it no further. And she was looking like, not like she was mad, but like she was like, well, damn, is that what it looked like when you care for somebody? Because mm -hmm, sometimes he don't care for you. So we do see Mary office talking to Corinne and her phone rings. She's like, you know, don't worry, Corinne, I'll answer it. Now Lionel had been calling her all morning. And then um she's like, Hello, this is May, whatever. May is Aaron. Oh, hey, Aaron, hey, let your father know I'm gonna call him back later. He just died. She was say what? Yeah, he died. She's like, When? He was like, like just now, like it just happened or whatever. <sighs> Your father was a great man, okay? You should be very proud of your father. He was a great, great man. And then Grace walks in. You know, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to talk to you a little later, okay? Bye. He hangs up. Grace, like, Mom, you was looking for me? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for snapping earlier. You know what I'm saying? It was just so much going on. I'm, I'm sorry. She's like, Mom, it's okay. Well, I was a little bit frazzled. Is, is that it? Uh, Yeah, that, that was it. Now, Grace had been... Grace may have been looking for Grace because she was going to tell Grace, Lionel may be your daddy. Because as Maxine told her, you can't take this lie with you. You, know, you got to be be honest. But now she felt like he dead now. I ain't got to tell her. And so that's why when she came looking, she's like, well, no, I just want to say sorry. I'm like, she a whole lie. Mm, a whole lie. So May then say, but give me a minute. So Corinne, Corinne leaves and so does Grace. So she kind of leaves and she go talk to Maxine. Maxine, like, oh, what did Grace say? Oh, I did not have to tell her because Lionel died. Maxine was like, okay, you have to still tell her. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You can't be out here speaking on truths when you hold on to a whole a whole little lie. I said, that's true. That's very, very true. You know She's like, you have to be honest. I'm like, she really felt like because Lionel died, she didn't have to be honest. You, and you want to be a pastor? Lord Jesus. So we then see Grace. Grace go see Bishop who's in the basement. Going through stuff. Looking at his old pictures or whatever. I don't know what he's in the basement looking for. But he's looking for something. So she's like, Bishop. He's like, hi, can I help you, honey? Will you be honest with me? And he's like, of course. Did you sleep with Rochelle and confess your love to her? What? No. What? Who told you that? She just told me that. He's like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to be back. Where are you going? I'm going to settle this, okay? I'm going to settle it once and for all. And then he leaves. I'm like, I ain't going to go too far. We then see Aaron come to see Grace. And she's like, hey, Aaron, you know how it was going on? Oh, yeah, you know, my father just died. Oh, my God. Oh, you know, this is so sad. You know, how can I help? Um, have a seat, Grace. And she's like, okay, I know this must be hard. He's like, huh, harder than you think. I'm like, oh, shit. 
Lionel called Aaron down. Cause remember, Lionel was mad at Aaron because Aaron was gay. Lionel called Aaron down, and I'm pretty sure he said, you know what the truth is. You got a whole sister. Well, a half sister, but a whole sister. Yeah, yeah, I say whole everything. And so I'm like, he come to tell Grace, ooh, Jesus. And so we then see a little snippet of Zora. Zora at the house sleep. He sleeps, she sleep, but she got her phone out. And she's looking at these other pictures that people are sending her of him and his girl in the studio. And he got his hands all over her. And she's zooming in, you know, zoom in. And she looking, she look, and she sit up in the bed and she like, now see me. If I sit up in the bed and I'm looking at a photo of you cheating on me, it's going to be some flowers and bringing, some furniture moving, someone going to call 911. It's going to be a whole little fight up in here, okay? I'm going to be whooping some ass and taking some names, okay? Because you ain't going to be over here soundly sleeping and you cheating on me. Ain't going to happen. We're going to both be unsleepable, okay? All day, every day. Anyway, we see Jacob at the meeting place for uh, Tasha. He looking around. He like, what Tasha? Where's she at? Basie walks up. Bishop Greenleaf. Basie, where's Tasha? Where's Carissa? We asked my wives. I said, come on, Basie, with the jokes. What happened with you and my wife? <sighs> He's real quiet. What happened with you and my wife? Because guess what? If I go home believing the worst, the worst will happen. <sighs> Basically, it was one kiss. It was one kiss. That was it. And it was really nothing. It was really, really nothing. Well, thank you. Thank you for your honesty. Because it's more than what she gave me. Okay? But one man's nothing is another man's everything. I say that is very true. One man's nothing is another man's everything. While one man may not really care... That he kissed someone's wife. That other man cares a whole bunch that someone kissed his wife. Okay? He's like, you know what? You don't have to worry about texting Tasha no more, okay? Because I got her phone. I said, oh, shit. Did he kill her? Is she dead? Is she breathing? I'm like, I'm pretty sure Tiny. I wonder if Tiny watched this show. And if she watched this show, is she watching the hoping that Tasha going to die? I just wonder sometimes. Anyway. We then see Bishop go speak to Rochelle. Oh, hey, Bishop. Now, before we walked in, Rochelle was on the phone saying, you know, I need to close out a comment because I'm going on, on, on vacation. I'm going to be unavailable. Because she running. She ru ru running away. So when Bishop came in, oh, hey, James. I'm sorry I haven't got back to you. It's been a crazy, cra I had a whole late start on my day. As you should know, did you tell Grace that we had relations and that we confessed our love to each other? And she was like, well, you know, I didn't want to admit it, but it came up in conversation. We didn't do it. We didn't, that didn't happen. Are you, are you serious? Is this something where, you know, you can't admit it because you're in the, you're in the, in the church? I can play along, but we did some things, whatever. I know that happened. And he's like, what? We didn't do nothing. What are you talking about? She's like, what? Well, she was really acting as if he was an old man with, with Alzheimer's and couldn't remember. You invested this money for me. James, I don't know what you talking about. I didn't invest something. What are you talking about? Is something going on? She was playing dumb, dumb diddy to the T. <sighs> are you Basie's sister? Are you Daryl, Daryl's daughter? Well, yes. You think I killed your father? I don't think that. My father that in the fire. Yes, it was your trouble, but you could not afford to keep it up. If I thought you killed my daddy, how can I be in love with you? He's like, you know what? You played me. You got me, but you won't get away with it. And he just walks out, and then she's gone. She was like, bitch, I already did. I said, oh, Lord, we got to kill her. Oh, we got to kill her. Kill her dead, Jesus. Kill her dead. The character, not the person. So, we then see May. May in the church, and she's sitting in the sanctuary, and she's watching the slash show that she put together for a day with Lady May. She changes everything okay and so she's watching that so she turned her back to get her purse to leave she turned around grace right there grace was a whole silent killer came in we need no oh you gave me such a fright grace oh hey the pictures look great mama oh thank you baby so i'm gonna see you tomorrow gives grace a kiss and she walks off aaron came to see me today may stops puts the purse down so, he told you his father that, huh? Yeah, he did. 
you know, we torture ourselves, you know what I'm saying, with little dramas. And then death comes and sweeps, swipes it away like a tide, you know. And in the end, you don't think of how small things seem. You, you think that you may have, you know, been more forgiven before. And she starts to keep walking off. And it's lying on my father. And she stops, turns around. I don't know. And walks away. I said, you, if I ask you that question, you can't just leave. That's not a walk away question. Come on, May. Come on back, May. I say, oh. She walked away. And Grace is standing there looking like, oh. And she crying a little bit. And she turned and she looked. And up on the screen, what does it say? She changes everything and then it goes up i said lord take my now jesus i love how they play things out it was such oh i cannot wait until these next two episodes oh i'm gonna be so sad when it goes on you know when the show goes off but y'all know what all would be a show for me to review anyway that was a review for Greenleaf, put your comments in the comment section. Do not forget to comment and like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. Okay, I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Peace. He's like love, 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 and music.